Hey everybody, welcome back for another vlog. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this time we have a couple different incidents to talk about and Connor's gonna start us off with a barn fire that we had earlier this week in Arapahoe County. Engine 23, outside fire, map page R37B, South Gun Club Road, and East Progress Circle. Tower 45, Aurora Engine 10, Medic 23, Battalion Chief 5, Safety 35, Metcom Ops 3, Outbuilding Fire, Map Page, R-37B, South Gun Club Road, and East Progress Circle. 23, go ahead. We're on scene having difficulty getting to the barn. It is approximately fully involved, medium size. We're going to be defensive when we get down there. I'll make command on this channel. So around 10.45 p.m. on Monday night, we received calls for an outbuilding fire in the 5300 block of South Biloxi Court, and that is in the Dove Hill neighborhood. So when firefighters got on scene, they found a barn that was completely engulfed in flames, and that fire had started spreading into the grass around the barn and was going over towards other structures nearby. So firefighters were able to use two different uh, water operations. One was a relay pumping operation and that was from a hydrant about 1300 feet away we also were able to use drafting operations and that's when a tender comes drops the water off that it has into a porta tank goes and fills up at another hydrant nearby comes back and continues that water supply they also put water on the grass fires around the barn to keep that from spreading any further no other structures were damaged in this fire. There were initial reports that there were horses in the area, but all of those horses were accounted for, as well as the residents living nearby. The contents inside the barn at the time included a car, some motorcycles, hay, and a skid loader. The cause is under investigation, uh, but no injuries to report from this fire.
On Thursday afternoon, firefighters responded to what was reported as a small brush fire south of Chatfield State Park in Douglas County. As crews were responding, rangers from Chatfield State Park arrived on scene and sized up four or five acres worth of brush that was burning. The incident got upgraded to a large brush fire, so additional resources were called to the scene. And when we arrived, there was a light wind out of the south that was pushing the fire into an area of new construction and dirt, which is a natural fire break where the fire couldn't extend. So the incident commander set up at the heel of the fire or where the fire started, and brush trucks worked in a mobile attack on both of the flanks to put those out and cool them down, work their way to the head of the fire and put it out. No one was injured and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Thankfully, because of where the fire was located, there weren't any homes threatened either. Brush engine 40, engine 16, small brush fire, map page, X, 20, C, Solstice Ram Boulevard. Brush engine 40, engine 16, small brush fire. The south entrance of Chatfield on a fire smaller than a football field at this time. No structures threatening. Threatened. It is moving to the east. And we're getting information that the south Chatfield road is the best access. Temperature 75, humidity 10%, winds from the southeast at 5 miles per hour. Battalion 1, okay. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start brush engine 39 to this incident as well due to the wind conditions. That complex 1605 from Chatfield. 1605, go ahead. It's going to be about probably two to three football fields. It's just grass. Flames maybe four to five feet tall. Moving to the west and the north. Moderate winds. I one, Metcom. Go ahead, Metcom. Do you want us to upgrade this to a large brush fire based on Park 1605's assessment? Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, upgrade it and uh, also uh, get a hold of Douglas County OEM and just check the availability of uh, helicopter. Metcom, Battalion 1 on 5. Battalion 1, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assume Roxbow Command win the offensive strategy. We're still working our way into Anchor Point to get a good size up. Tree Rec Center, 10,249, Bridgegate Circle, Engine 44. South Metro firefighters train regularly on fire skills and medical skills. And right now they're doing bailout training, which is really interesting to watch and learn more about. So Lieutenant Rick Peterson will tell us what it is. Today we're doing firefighter bailout training at our Metro Fire Training Center. We're teaching firefighters, firefighter sur survival. Um, firefighters have to know if you have a room of a flashover, it gets too hot, they need to get in a hurry. 
They carry a special bailout kit in their pockets and they we're teaching them how to bail out of a window in, in a hurry. And we're teaching them to do it safely so they can get down and out of the way. And once they get outside, they can call their mayday, let command know that they had to do a bailout. Our leg up and over. So you want to avoid that because once you start getting away from your hook, it could potentially pop out inside. We've seen it happen. Any kind of motion where you're you're kind of backing pressure off of that hook, it tends to pop out. Even when you, we want you guys to go head first on the side where you hook. And then when I come out, I'm gonna reach for basically where that where that hand is right there. I'm gonna plant my hand and use it as a counterbalance as well. It takes kind of distracts my other arm. I don't want to hold on all my weight to the windowsill. I'm gonna go out head first, planting that hand, and then I'm letting go of that windowsill. You guys come a little closer so I can show you this. Some of you, your coats will get stuck under the rope. If that happens, just give it a good tug down or you can reach up and pull it with two hands. If that still doesn't work, then once you start going down on your device, then it'll come loose. So the next thing is my foot placement. For those of you who saw that video, we don't want you in that rappel position. We want your feet down for two reasons. If you get in that rappel position, there's a tendency where all you need is a little bit of up pressure and that foot will pop right out. Also, when you're coming down, we want to make sure you land on your feet, not your butt. So to do, to use the device, you're going to go under the rope like this and grab the handle and just go down. And then when you go to repack your kit, pull it all the way out of your pocket, repack it, it goes much better. Straight down? There you go. That was good. That was, good. That was beautiful. everyone it's time for fat shout outs oops I did it backwards <laughs> okay so the first one that we have is I hope I say this correctly but this is the city of Gosnell's volunteer fire brigade in Western Australia that is awesome that is super super cool there's the first one um, we also have this one mid county volunteer fire department and that one is in Lockhart Texas there we are and then I have three from Jacksonville in Florida. This is Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department. That one right there. And then this is a paramedic patch from Florida. And finally we have, oh, it's another one. Another Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department patch. Very cool. There we go. All right, which ones do you have, Eric? All right, I have got one a little bit closer to home than those ones. This is from Durango, Colorado. It's in the southwest corner of the state, so not super close to here, but still hometown Colorado. Thanks for sending that one. Uh, I've got one from 35.Mike Photography, a fire dispatcher and photographer in California, so kind of him to send that in. And the last one I have is from Troy, Michigan Fire Department from Aiden. And Aiden, we did not get your return address, but please we want to send it. you a patch back. So uh, <laughs> please uh, send us a direct message on any of our social media accounts or our email is in the about section here on YouTube. So you can write us and we can make sure that you get one. 
Uh, as always, thank you so much for sending these to us. This is so awesome. We really appreciate all your comments and feedback to help make the channel better. And uh, again, we just can't thank you enough. This is so cool. Yeah, thank you guys so much. We hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.